Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here, I'm Melissa and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on this channel and also cooking videos. So today we're gonna be doing a meal prep with me. 100% transparency, I'm in pajamas and I have no plans of changing. So we are gonna be doing this meal prep in pajamas like I would normally. <laughs> I have a whole list of recipes I want to make today. So first, I want to make these chicken nuggets that I used to make Nick and I all the time. They're so good. They have like an almond flour coating and they have like a spicy garlic honey sauce that goes on them. They're delicious. Next, I want to make a chicken and rice bake with some veggies on the bottom. Just like a really classic, simple thing to have on hand. I want to have a breakfast frittata. So it's just this like egg bake thing that I make and throw in the oven. I also want to make these cheesecake bites with fruit on them. I found the recipe from Erin Lives Whole and I love her recipes because she makes things with a little bit less sugar than normal so I kind of prefer that so it's not super sweet and it's good for like a weekly little treat when you want something sweet but not something like super super crazy indulgent. And then I want to make some roasted garlic green beans, straightforward. I want to prep some berries and some grapes and stuff and then I want to make homemade ranch dressing because homemade ranch dressing is far superior to anything that you can buy at the grocery store. So before I get into these recipes I just wanted to talk about like meal prepping and intuitive eating for a little bit. I'm on my own personal journey with intuitive eating and I'm on my own health journey so I just picked out recipes that sounded like they would be satisfying. I wouldn't mind eating them throughout the week. Ones that would like reheat well. Also, I chose things that I thought would be nourishing for my body and things that would make me feel good. That is why I compiled this list. Your list may look totally different and that is the beauty of life. Everybody is different and we crave different things. We have different preferences. I'm also cooking for my boyfriend too. Just keep that in mind. When you're watching these meal prep videos, this isn't a strict meal prep video. It's just a meal preparedness type of planning that I do for my week when I have the time. So if any of these things sound good to you or if you're interested in them, then please keep watching this video. Hey guys, so I figured I would do a little bit of a voiceover that way I could just get into the zone with cooking for my meal prepping. So I'm starting with the almond crusted chicken nuggets. This is a recipe that Nick and I have loved for literally three years now. I haven't made it in like a year, which is crazy, but it's just a simple chicken breast chicken nugget that you dip into a dredge. So for my dredge, I have regular, I think like organic bread flour because that's what I had in my pantry in the first bowl. The second bowl I have two eggs and then in the third bowl I have almond flour, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And now I was using tongs in the beginning to dip them into the flour, the egg, and then the almond flour. However, that was like super tedious and my hands started hurting from clamping down on the tongs the entire time. So I paused, I reset, and then I just ended up using my hands. But I'm going to link all the recipes down below for you and I'll let you know when I kind of stray from a recipe. I kind of already strayed in this recipe. They wanted like tapioca flour to make it paleo, but I just use regular flour because I'm not paleo, so I don't need to have tapioca flour on hand. But I did pre-cut my chicken to make this easier on myself for today and I put it in a marinade. I think it was like the Olive Garden Italian dressing. I never have that on hand but Nick had it and I'm like oh that'll be perfect just to marinate the chicken overnight. So that's what I did and then I filled up the sheet pan and then what you want to do is put this in the fridge. It is a vital step. It needs to go in there for like 30 to 60 minutes. I think mine was in there for an hour and a half and it allows the coating of the breading to stick on the chicken so when it bakes it doesn't all fall off. So now we are going to go ahead and make the glaze for the chicken. So you want to bring this mixture to a boil. It's about a third of a cup of hot sauce, some garlic. I just pre-chopped some garlic and threw it in there. And the recipe called for powdered garlic, but I already chopped some. And then some honey, I think about a half a cup. And I just brought this to a boil. Then you take your chicken out of the oven and you're supposed to dip it, but I already had my tongs dirty and I didn't want to wash them because they I think I had them in the dishwasher or something. So I ended up pouring the mixture on my chicken, which made a huge mess. So I definitely suggest sticking to the recipe and dunking your chicken into the mixture and then putting it on the sheet pan. However, this is the final product and it was absolutely amazing. Highly recommend that you make this some point in your life. Up next, I have a chicken and rice bake that I'm doing, and it's kind of like my version of the Joanna Gaines 
chicken bake that she has in one of her recipe books. I will link the recipe down below. But I, right here, I was just putting in leeks at the bottom of my pan and also some leftover veggies I had. I think it was like jalapeno and green pepper. And then I was sprinkling chopped garlic on top. And in her recipe, I think she wants like four tablespoons of butter or six tablespoons of butter here, but I thought that was a little excessive. So I just put in four teaspoons. And the recipe also wanted three packages of pre-cooked rice, like the wild rice boxes. So I ended up doing that yesterday that just to make today easier. And I took some of it out for a meal prep that I was eating today. Then I just mixed up the rice and then I added in three of these like liquids along with some seasoning. So I put in some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and I think some pepper right here, you know, the usual suspects. And then I put in one cup of chicken stock. I love these one cup portions that I get from Whole Foods. It just makes life so easy. And then I put in a cream of chicken soup. This was like an organic one and it has a better ingredients list in my opinion, not as offensive as the other <laughs> canned condensed chicken soup. And then I needed a cup of sour cream and you can use whatever like kind of dairy options in this that you want. I, I preferred these. And then you're gonna mix it all together and I added in some garlic just for some flavor delicious and then I'm gonna mix it all up and pour it on top of the leeks that I already placed in the Le Crusette casserole dish the last step before baking is to just take your marinated chicken and place it all over the top of the dish I think the recipe calls for two and a half pounds of chicken I literally have no idea how much chicken I had left but it was the literal perfect amount to top off this casserole dish with and that is it it's a super simple recipe i topped it with some parsley and it's really good and it's great for meal preps in my opinion up next is a recipe that i actually developed and i am so proud of it is perfect for breakfast throughout the whole week so i start off with a dozen eggs in a bowl and i mix them on up well make sure there's no shells in your eggs first i mix them all up and then i add my seasoning so i'm going to add some half and half salt pepper some fresh chives that i pre-chopped and some cheddar cheese and then i wanted more chives so i added in dry chives there and now i'm going to be making like the potato base for the frittata so i used up the rest of my ghee that i had on hand it's basically like a clarified butter you could use olive oil and you kind of want a little bit more than you think because we're going to be adding two bags of the alexia potatoes i think these are made from like yukon gold potatoes which is the best potato in my opinion. So you're gonna crisp these up in your pan and then I take a measuring cup to make a crust on the outer edge. And it's super important that you make an outer edge crust. That way it can contain all of the egg and keep it all in there. And I forgot, I don't know if I said this, I reserved some cheddar cheese to put on top and then I throw it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes on 350 to 400 degrees and then I finish with some extra chives. And this is the best breakfast that you can ever have. You need to try this one too. Up next, I'm just making a very simple recipe for roasted green beans. What I do is I take just two of the pre-washed, pre-trimmed bags of green beans and I throw them on to my sheet tray. And I like to make sure that I get off all the ends. Like if they missed trimming off some ends, I wanna make sure I get them off. And then I realized my parchment paper wasn't big enough, so then I add another piece, so that's what that was about. And then all I'm gonna do is top this with some pre-chopped garlic that I had chopped up. And then I'm gonna drizzle some salt and some olive oil on top and literally throw it in the oven at 425 degrees for probably 20 ish minutes depending on how crispy or done you want them and then voila perfect roasted green beans for the week now we are making some homemade buttermilk ranch what could be more tasty than that so we're gonna start off with some sour cream and then some buttermilk and mixy mixy that all up i think it was supposed to be a quarter cup of buttermilk and i used a half cup so my dressing was super loose so that was my bad so don't do what i did but then you need a quarter cup of mayo bleh, but whatever it is what it is and then i added in 
some garlic and I added in a chive and onion seasoning packet and then a little bit of a dill seasoning packet that I had on hand on accident because Whole Foods accidentally gave it to me instead of a different one so I just threw it in there because I thought that was ranchy and then I wanted some chives some parsley a little bit of lemon juice a little bit of salt and then mix it all up and all I did was packed it up and then it was perfect so that will be great for those chicken nuggets and then also for salads this week so definitely think about making your own dressings and vinaigrettes on a weekly basis. Last up, what you've all been waiting for are these mini cheesecakes that I'm making. So I started off with five tablespoons of butter. The recipe needed six, but I only used five. And then I hand crushed up some, I think they were like gluten-free graham crackers because I just love the flavor of those. So crush those up and mix it together. And then I filled in my cups and I only had a small baking sheet left because I used the other ones for meal preps. So I ended up just making a thicker crumb coating for the bottom of as many cups as I could fit on this cookie sheet. So that's why I didn't make the full 12 like the recipe suggests, but it still turned out amazing and perfectly fine. And honestly, I didn't have a ton of filling to go inside for 12. So I'm probably going to have to remake this recipe and make it my own so I have like the correct amount of filling for the crust. I'm going to go ahead and make the filling. So I just had to warm up my cream cheese a little bit and then I added in some vanilla bean yogurt, one egg, a fourth of a cup of honey, and then one vanilla bean instead of regular vanilla like the recipe suggested. I just wanted to be fancy and I had them on hand. So I was like, YOLO, let me do this and have a great time this week and it was so fun i've never like taken vanilla bean seeds out of the pod before so that was an experience added in a little bit of salt mixy mixy get it all combined this recipe said you should use a food processor and i 100 percent agree i just don't have one so that's why i didn't use one and then i wanted to tightly seal up my other vanilla beans so they didn't go bad and now I'm just filling up all of my little mini cheesecakes. This was such a good idea. I'm so glad I didn't. I didn't end up getting to prepping all the fruit that I wanted to prep today. And I wanted some fruit to go on top of these cheesecakes, but whatever, I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I had a very long day today. But those are the cheesecakes and here's all the food we made today. I am so proud of us. We did such a good job. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. So definitely give these recipes a try. All right, you guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We made some really good recipes today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also comment down below if there's any recipes that you've been wanting to try or recipes that I need to check out myself to make for future meal prep videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.